of the show, whether you are a cook, a gardener, a pet lover, or looking to add a new touch to your home decor, today's show has something for each of you. Wouldn't you love to learn the painting technique to transform this beautiful old pine clock into this very beautiful Swedish-inspired piece? We'll show you how a little later on in the show. Beautiful distressed look with milk paint. My next guest heads to a beautiful place, to Sweden, where he piles his pickup truck really, really high with furniture, which he then spends the summer transforming into the beautiful pieces that you see in this picture. These are amazing pieces. And today he's going to teach us his technique for creating a traditional Gustavian finish. Please welcome from LoneRangerAntiques.com, furniture restorer Jeffrey Turney. And it's so nice to have you here. Thank you for the invitation. Thank you. And um, now your, your stuff is beautiful. Thank you. And so you're going around from country auction to country, country auction, auction, to country auction, dealer to dealer yeah. all over Sweden. Do you go to Norway too? No, Norway is all mountains. There's very oh. few products that you can oh, find. Oh, I see. So you're in Sweden. And bringing back these um, beautiful clocks. Now, were these just commonly owned by every, all the families? Every farm has a minimum of two to three. Really? Some auctions you see five, six, seven of them. Most of the times they're in pretty rough shape. The younger generation doesn't want them. They've gone to the digital the Ikea. bedside clock, That's right? it. That's it. That's <laughs> what it. What foolish children we yeah. have. Oh, my God. Because <laughs> these are so beautiful, yeah. right? Well, they don't come this way. We usually get them with a million coats of paint. Oh, uh, I, I think see. you guys had a picture to show on that's oh. just every generation would paint them over it and paint them over and paint color. them over. Oh, yeah. And they just look so bad. So we take them, we strip them down, sand them up. By hand? You strip by hand? Uh, uh, um, in Sweden, I send it to the strippers. Oh, okay. They dip Sweden. it. They, they dip, dip it. Oh, okay. Yeah, they dip them. Oh, okay. We try not to. If there's an original paint, we won't strip it. But most of the times, they're so expensive if they're original paint. You buy them with bad paint, yeah. and they're cheap. Okay, so uh, we're going to. This is already stripped. This is prepped, ready to done. Prepped. Now, have you done anything else besides? No, just sand it. Okay, it's very beautiful wood. Isn't yeah, it? yeah, pine. So this is Swedish pine. Swedish pine, okay. heart pine, they call it. And then we use the milk paint. Which is a powdered base oh, paint. Old, fa old, old fashioned milk paint company. Oyster white milk paint. Yeah. 1974. It's an old company. <laughs> The last century, uh, yes, okay. It's, it's, it's great paint. Yeah. There has a few problems. Um, you have to mix it. It's a powder base. It's not open the lid, dip in, and paint. I love how you cut these yeah. out. So we, you just cut these out with a little It would scissor? take old tea container, oh. take a razor blade, yeah. cut it out, a razor knife. Milk paint settles constantly when you're using it. So, so you constantly stirring. have to stir it and stir okay. it and stir it and stir it. And then, then after you get done stirring, put your fork back in. Okay. You're done. Wow. Um, Fantastic. Okay. Brush my name. Oh, that's my brush. Okay. That's your brush. So just, this Poke is a, back I in. love There this. you go. Yes. When you're painting, when you're painting, you have to paint with the grain. Yes. Every time you come to an edge, come outward on an edge, and then come back in. Now on this, you're going one grain, you can go just, just go all over. Okay. And then as it dries, as you start drying, with milk paint it dries real quickly. So oh, you I paint see. out, you've got to paint fast, now, come are you out. Are sand again anyway? Yes. Oh, well, okay. no, we'll distress it after the paint's all oh, done. Okay. You just distress away. So you just go back and forth. When you come to an edge, make sure on an edge outside you don't pull the brush in. You'll get a drip. Yeah. Drips are bad, so just then okay. after you do that, exactly, go from then in. Now see your brush strokes, see yeah. how you stop, oh, I'm not going to. and then go, go from then in. There you don't go. Don't worry. Beautiful. I don't like, I don't like brush, I don't it. like to see the brush strokes, and I certainly don't want any snot That's noses. That's it. Well, now the problem with milk paint is it conditions. You call them snot noses? Yeah. <laughs> drips? Not drips. Um, milk paint dries really fast. In the conditions, if it's hot out, it'll dry incredibly fast. Is it already fast. too thick? See, it's drying. No, but... End to end. Get to the end. Okay, I will. There you go. Boy, he's so flossy. <laughs> no, it's just with he's milk the paint. With milk paint, if you don't do it right, people will see You're the flaw. You're a good teacher. You want to hide it. End to end. See? End. Yeah, my brother works for me, and believe me, he has other names. Oh boy. Yeah. Okay. So. So then I have to get on this edge. There you go. Always on the edge. Come in. Yeah. You can you can go quickly like that. Okay. And then come in and do your cut. Well, some people think the quicker you go, the older it looks, but I don't. know Well, about we'll that. make it look old in a minute, older okay. than it's going to be. Okay. So this is. That's done. it. Okay. That's it. Come in, and that's it. You just come down, do your straight lines, okay. and you want no stops from no end stops. to end. There you yeah. go. Beautiful. That's it. Okay. That's that part. Now, you're going right. to keep this white, or you're going to put color no, on No, this is, this is when the stain wax mix, we're done with the painting. Okay. And then down here, here's one we've already painted, but we haven't distressed yet. We've distressed. Now, how many coats on here? On the base coat, we used uh, a slate blue. On all the trim, we used an oyster white. We paint the white base first. Okay. 
And then we paint the base. Yeah, you're going to need gloves. Okay. Um, when you're distressing, you want to make it look old. You well, want to the the flat. It is old. Yeah, it is old. Now, what year is this? This is a beautiful This is like case. 1810, 1820s. Wow. Yeah. When you go to distress, your all your high edges. You just come around. Now are you selling it as refinished or are you selling it restored. as restored? Restored. Restored. Okay. Restored. Take that. Okay. All your high edges. Exactly. Every high edge. Just sand. Just go around and. I see. There you go. And do you apply any gold leaf to this? No, or? do not. It, that takes away from uh, the character of it when okay. you have gold leaf. But did it once have gold leaf ever? No, not on the clocks. Most of the times, the there wall are clocks. farmer clocks. The but, wall clocks have. Yeah, but the I, Swedish... I have a, a beautiful wall clock that's gold. I saw in that picture of your furniture, you have lovely wall clocks, too. Yes, yes. So, so can you see your, all your inventory on your website? On the website, we have oh, okay. everything. Yeah, oh, great. And then it's... it's this All is right. very beautiful. And then on the base coat here, you yeah. also just, just go around, feel it, sand it down. All the high edges. There okay. you go. Beautiful. Yeah, look. Beautiful. Look at that. The age is coming right through. <gasps> Looking okay. 100 years old. Now we have to get it to 200. All right. Quickly. That'll happen in a second. Okay. Just get down. Yeah. So what grade um, sandpaper is this? This is about 150. Okay. All right. And then even down here on the edge. Yeah, on the edge. Just, you just go around every high edge, cut it down, cut it down, cut it down. Okay. And the beautiful. Edges. Beautiful. Yeah, and definitely, this definitely is old. Yes, it's a very old clock. Yes, it's beautiful. Oh, so beautiful. Madam? So then, what's that? You're going to wax. Oh. There you go. The sock. <laughs> what's that? Uh, we use, uh, I we have use a sock. Uh, uh, Can orange we do base. That, that, even though we haven't really yes, finished? Yes, that's no problem. Okay. Orange base beeswax and a minwax stain oh. to give it the character. 80% okay. wax, 20% stain. Okay. Again, I use our favorite container. Oh, so I just Just dip, dip in? in, rub it on. Okay. Just rub it in. Just rub it in. And sometimes you want to carry a brush with you and on those little those hard, the little cracks. Little yeah, you just go in. Oh, I like the, I like the uh, sock better. The sock's the best because it doesn't, yeah. you just go, if you, if you hold on to the sock, your hand will cramp. Yeah. So you don't want to hold on. That's all you do. Oh, you just... And you I come just don't around. want him to get it on me. <laughs> I am not going to be antiqued. <laughs> Sorry. There you go. There you go. I'll keep I it away refuse. from you. I'll get this it on me instead. This is very pretty. So, uh, so tell me about the wax again. Min wax. Min wax, 20% stain. I okay. use many different stains. Yeah, I'm It sure. depends on the clock, depends on the color. You can use a lighter yeah. stain, you can use a darker stain. It just all goes with what color wood you're doing. So it's good if you have some carving. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. But sometimes people don't like really carved cases. Sometimes the planar cases sell just as well as a carved case. He's getting a little wild with the brush. <laughs> I'm going to stand back here. All right. There we go. Yes. Wax. Okay, now give me your sock. Now, dry. Just wipe it off. Okay. That's all you do. Okay. Now, what am I using here? Just a rag. Oh, just a just, rag. It too. doesn't matter. Just Swedish a rag. Swedish blue tablecloth. And there it is. There's the age. It always darkens. Whatever color you use in the milk paint, it's always going to change mm. the color. This is very nice. A wonderful Swedish day bed, that one that pulls out and makes yeah. into a, a, you know, a trundle bed. So I'm going to do this. Good it's luck. It's fantastic. Good, <laughs> say good luck. That's not nice. You're going to do an incredible job. I it's am. easy to do. Yeah, it's very pretty. Yeah. Mine doesn't have any carving on it, though. So it, that's any... It'll have just as much character okay, as it does it with carving. Okay, well, this is great, Jeffrey. Yeah. Thank you very much Thank you. for a great lesson in creating a beautiful finish. We'll be right back.